Now that you understand object access, let's talk about the more nuanced and challenging one, and that is arrays. In Python, they're called lists. In JavaScript, they're called arrays. In Lua, they're called tables. Often arrays have objects or other arrays in them, and the problems tend to compound a lot. Not only are you dealing with null pointers or undefines that affect downstream, but you're also dealing with iterations. Oftentimes, you're looping through these arrays multiple times and trying to find the bad data. So it's very challenging to deal with null pointers when you have a lot of them that could be only sometimes for certain items. So let me give an example in Python where she's pretty brutal. If we access index zero in this array here, or this list in Python nomenclature, it's okay, it'll give us the first object and it's good to go. But as soon as we try to access something that's none, that's actually okay to do. You're allowed to access a none item or null or undefined or whatever else. As soon as you try to access an index that doesn't exist, in this case 10, you get a null pointer exception. So some things are allowed for dealing with bad data, but accessing things that simply don't exist or not there or out of range, those return an actual, don't even return, they throw a null pointer exception. In JavaScript's case, it's a lot more forgiving. If you were to do the normal array access in JavaScript for an item that actually does exist, it's gonna go ahead and give it to you. If you access a null, a valid index, but a null piece of data or undefined, it's gonna return that as well. And it's not gonna affect it. It will affect your downstream calls that were expecting a valid piece of data unless they were safely written. But as soon as you access an odd index that doesn't exist, she does one nice thing, which is undefined. She doesn't blow up. Now you're left to, to wonder, is that mean that undefined's there? Or does that mean that I've, I've gone beyond the length of the array and I have to check that? You don't know, it, it, there's no guarantee. Compilers won't help you with this. So instead, you get another find back. So we're gonna show you how you can use maybes to solve array problems as well.